Previously on Undressed. What did you just hear? Philip, Jack told all the guys he saw your butt. <sighs> it's not about me. It's about what's up here. Why did you stare? Her boobs. Aren't these yours? I don't even think they fit. The one way to know for sure. Having sex with one guy does not make you gay. How about four? Guys like watching these puppies as much as they like watching TV. You want me to have press? I'm just trying to help you stay in school. do this is crazy. Dexter, you do crazy bets all the time. I know, but I'm making fake boobs here. And all you gotta do is worm around for a couple of days and go win your tuition money back. I know, I just wish I didn't have to wear it to that dorm party tonight. Oh, because you don't want Mona to think you're a big freak? Do you have any idea what it's like to be totally into someone who doesn't even notice you? I think they're ready. What a... Ugh, it looks like something from the boob lagoon. I know. I had no problem with the size. It's a shape I couldn't get right. But, uh, if I had something to mold it after... Uh... Hey. Oh, cool t-shirt. <laughs> Isn't it the bomb? Two dolphins, it's like they're a couple. How awesome is it that when we get our lifeguard tickets, we'll be able to spend the whole summer in the pool together on, just like dolphins. You know, I, I just can't wait to spend the whole summer with you in the pool, with your bikini on. Oh, you're just not gonna let me live that down. So my bikini top almost fell in the pool last week. Big whoop. Hey, I uh, scrubbed down your rescue cannon. The finest looking cannon in all of lifeguard training. Oh, you're the best. Don't spoil me before my birthday. I won't. How's my girl doing? Cody, what are you doing? I think it's pretty obvious. I'm de-gaying the apartment. Look, I know it's hard for you to accept that I'm not straight. I can't believe I didn't even notice how gay you decorated this place. I mean, I'm just getting used to the idea myself. I should have suspected something when you brought home this figurine. I mean, hello, it's the figurine. I just need you to realize that this is who I am. Oh, man, and this lamp? Could it be any more gay? Cody, that lamp was a gift from you. Fiona, those look amazing. Can I touch them? Of course you can. They're your boob. Wow, they're just like yours, only life-size. Gee, thanks. So, you think this thing's gonna hold? Well, it should. I reinforced the clasp. Uh, but there's only one way to know for sure. True. So, how do I look? Whoa. I knew I never should let you flirt with that Joel guy just to keep the rent down. Cody, flirting with Joel did not make me gay. Well, what did then? I don't know. The jury's still out on that. But I'm pretty sure that scientific research has ruled out the whole paper, scissors, rock theory. Carter, you can't be gay. We're exactly the same in every way. So that means if you're gay, then me. Cody, are you worried that you might be gay? No. Why? Because there's one simple test to find out for sure. There is. Oh, yeah. Here. Close your eyes. Now touch your nose. Now ask yourself, do you ever want to have sex with men? No. <laughs> Carter, come on, this isn't a joke. I mean, if you've been gay all this time and I didn't even know, then, then I don't even know who you are. Listen, I'm gonna be pretty scarce this week. I got a lot of practice with the team coming up, you know? No. Yeah. Cause it's kind of my birthday this week. Why didn't you say so? She just did. Okay, Owen, thank you. It's Owen. With an O? Okay, whatever. So, I guess this means I'm gonna have to get you a present, huh? That's okay, cause I wanna get you something real nice. Something I want more than anything. Really? And what's that? Something only you can give me? Oh, I get it, okay. 
Well, if this gift is what I think it is, it has your name written all over it. Howdy, girl. How about tonight? Mm -mm. Sure these things look okay? Dude, nice rack! Does that answer your question? Oh, I have got to say. Oh, yeah. It is definitely going to be worth the money to watch you wear those things around campus. Larkin, my eyes are up here. What are you going to wear tonight to the dorm party? I don't know. I was thinking this. I was thinking something more like, uh, this. I just can't believe you didn't tell me. Okay, Cody. You want to know why I didn't tell you that I was gay? Because you needed me to be straight. Come on, Carter. Can't let the team down. Let's make some martinis and bag some chicks. <laughs> That's so not true. I don't need you to help me get chicks. As a matter of fact, I've got a date tonight with Vanessa, and I really don't need you here to gay it up. Good, because I certainly don't need you on my date either. Come to think of it, I don't need you at all. Fine, fine. See you tonight in my place. So, you and Luke seem pretty serious. We are. I mean, I still can't believe he's my boyfriend. Yeah, neither can I. Oh, Owen, it's so great to have a friend like you to talk about Luke to. Can you keep a secret? He's the one. The one what? No. I was thinking how rad it would be to lose my virginity before my birthday. Oh, huh. Craig. <laughs> but that's this week. I know. I don't have much time. But with any luck, tonight will be the night. Hello? You wrinkled my dolphin. Sorry. What's your problem? Aren't you happy for me? You can't possibly have a problem with Luke. He's perfect. Well, we were supposed to practice for lifeguard training tonight. Oh, no, I totally forgot. And if we don't practice every single night, we're going to fail that test. But you could still come over and use the pool if you want. You know what? Don't worry about it. I'm not going to come over. I'll make it up to you tomorrow. By then, I'll have lots of good news to tell you about my date. Can't wait. Very funny. Lighten up. I just took a look around and Mona's not here. I'll bet she's not even going to come. If I could only be so lucky. Now all I got to do is hang out here long enough to satisfy Larkin. Okay, ladies, and especially gentlemen, now for your favorite part of the evening, it is time for... The Wet T-Shirt Contest! Now, do we have any volunteers? Over here! So I told her if you wanted me to take you seriously, you would not have worn those shoes with that outfit. <laughs> That's normally the part where you would chuckle and tell me how witty and charming I am. Oh, sorry, uh, charming. Bad day at work? Something like that. I had a fight with my brother. He's not too thrilled at the idea of me being gay. The curse of the family. So, this brother of yours, does he live in town? Actually, he lives in my apartment. Mona, what are you doing? I'm entering our booths in a wet t-shirt contest. Come on, Mona's not here. You've got nothing to lose. Besides, I've never had boobs I wanted to show off before. Ladies and gentlemen, our first contestant. Dexter! Now, does this lovely man have a challenger? How about me? So you kept your brother a secret just so I wouldn't raise the rent. That's so cute. You're not mad then? For some reason, I find it very hard to be mad at you. <laughs> and don't worry. I won't raise the rent. <laughs> Too much paperwork. <laughs> so, when do I get to meet this infamous loafer? How about never? Carter. 
I can't do this. I can't be with somebody who's not comfortable with who they are. But I am. And I want to be with you, really. I don't just want sex. I want romance. And somebody who's not afraid to be seen with me outside of the laundry room or the hot tub. I can do that. Then prove it. Have me over to your place for dinner tomorrow night. Okay. And if you try to cancel, I'll know that you're not ready for a relationship. Hey, uh, you're Christine's gay friend, aren't you? I'm not gay. Okay, it's just I see you hanging out with girls all the time. Yeah, I, I get it. What do you want? Well, you'd know what I should get her for her birthday. I want to get her a gift she'll really like. Actually, I, uh, I know it's something she'd really love. Yeah, what? Well, she really likes dolphins, right? I saw this dolphin pendant necklace. It's really nice. It sounds great. Yeah, I can show you the place where I saw it. I was going to get it for myself, but um, I'm sure she'd appreciate it much more coming from you. Thanks, man. It's really beautiful, actually. It's got this uh, gold rim around it. Oh, whoa, whoa. gold. Hi, uh, a little expensive. What? Maybe a uh, small box of chocolates or even a mug. Something like that. I thought, uh, I thought the two of you were serious. Dude, we've been going out for like two weeks. Not that serious. Woo! Now, do we have a winner? <laughs> Our winner by popular approval, Dexter! Say that the uh, best breast won. Congratulations. Um, thanks. You know, I do congratulations a lot better one on one. Or should I say two on two? Give me two little minutes to change out of this wet t shirt and I'll meet you back in your room. Yeah! Well, at least somebody's scoring tonight. Uh, Sorry, babe. Hey, what happened here anyway? Looks like a totally bad taste bomb went off. Yeah. Anyway, why don't we just, uh, get down to business? Down to business? Ever heard of a thing called seduction? Girl needs a little foreplay, you know. Look, Cody, no offense, but a date with you is way more fun when your brother's around. How could you not be serious about Christine? She's she's perfect. She's beautiful. She's kind. She's smart. Yeah, I, I guess. Oh, she's totally off the hook in her swimwear, though. Is there, uh, is there anything else you like about her? Well, it seems like she's raring to go. I mean, you might even be getting busy tonight. Just good. I've been waiting forever. You've been going out for two weeks. I know. I was starting to think I'd have to break up with her just to get some action, you know? Well, hold on a second. You were going to break up with her? Um, maybe. No, no. We don't have sex tonight. Who knows? Anything boys can do, we can do better. Get ready to hang ten with the cast of Blue Crush as they dive into the world's professional surfing. Chick style in MTV's Surf Girls, a Blue Crush movie special. You better let me, okay? We're good. Owen! What are you doing here? I, um, I needed to borrow a towel. Don't worry, I won't interrupt. Owen, and make sure you wear your bathing cap. Where were we? Right here. This is the greatest day of my life. Quick, help me out of this before Mona gets here. All right, all right. Hurry. I don't want her to catch you here and get the wrong idea. What wrong idea? You know, like you're my girlfriend or something. Come on, what's taking so long? I'm trying, but hello, I'm a girl. I'm not used to taking a bra off this way. I gotta do it behind my back. 
freaked out on you earlier, bro. I'm guessing things didn't go so well with Vanessa. I'm not too good at flying solo. I, uh, need a co-pilot. Me too. So, does this mean you're okay with me being... The ugly twin? Dude, you're my brother. I asked around and apparently there's nothing I can do about it. Good, because I've invited Joel over for dinner tomorrow night. Cool. I'll clear up. Actually, he's coming over to meet you. The crowd totally loved you tonight. Yeah, well... Uh... Beer? You looked amazing out there. So did they. Can I, um, touch them? Well, only if I can touch yours. Yeah, okay. But me first. Really? I mean, uh, be gentle. Oh. Wow, they feel totally real. No wonder you won the contest. I really thought you should have won. Yours actually are real. They are real, right? Totally. Well, you know what they say. Only thing better than being the winner is being with the winner. <laughs> so then he knows there's two of us. He knows I have a brother that lives with me. He doesn't know we're twins. Dude, I think he's gonna figure it out. Oh, I know. It's just that I really like Joel, and I don't want him to think that this was one big trick we played so he wouldn't raise the rent. Which, by the way, he's not gonna do, because I think he likes me too. You really like this guy, huh? Well, don't sweat it, bro. We'll pour on the Travis Brothers charm, and he won't even know what hit him. Oh, uh, I almost forgot. Work called while you were out. Something about some McCrickard guy coming to town a day early? What? Oh, this is a disaster. Hey, you sure your uh, friend's not coming back in? No, it's just the two of us. Okay. I'll make you forget all about him. <laughs> Your skin's so smooth. Thanks. Your hair smells so nice. You're such a great... What? Ow! Oh. What just hit me down? What are you doing here, Owen? I thought you were staying in the pool. I thought you kept your um, rescue sex, uh, the kissing can, rescue rescue can underneath your, your sofa sex. I hope I didn't interrupt. Dexter? What the hell is going on? Well, my friend Fiona stopped by just to help me out of my, uh, these. First day with my new boob. She's like my training wheels. Whatever. Just, um, maybe next time I could be the one to help you out of them. Right now I'm gonna go back to the party. But, uh, look, why don't you put something on and, um, join me? Why couldn't you stay in there just one minute longer? Hello, you tossed me in the closet with all those toxic, stinky chemicals we used to make the boobs. Oh, yeah, sorry. Did you just see what happened? Yeah, a little too much. Thank you so much. What for? For helping me hook up with Mona. I mean, did you ever think your boob plan would help me get a relationship? We just uh, try this again some other time. It's already late on a practice night, okay? No, it has to be now. I'm sorry, babe. It's just a little too crowded in here right now. See ya. I am going to kill you, Owen. Oh, I'm sorry if I ruined your date. If you ruined my date? Okay, I'm sorry. I, I, I realized I was in a little bit of the way. You were under the bed. You know I want to lose my virginity. You're supposed to be my friend. This is Oh, not cool. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Look, maybe I can make it up to you. Until I've done it with Luke, stay away. Yes, Mr. Carmine, I'll be there for sure. Yes, I know how important this is. Absolutely. I won't let you down. No, no, everything's 
Fantastic. Okay. Bye now. Well, it's official. My life sucks. What's the problem? This McCrickard guy is the ad agency's biggest client, and just my luck, he's decided to fly in a day early. Guess who's got to pick him up at the airport? So, cancel your date with Joel. Can't. He said if I cancel, he'll know I'm not ready for a relationship. But I'll lose my job if I don't take McCrickard out for dinner and pitch this new campaign we've been working on for like three months. I just wish there was some way I could be in two places at once. Dude, I don't think I can learn everything there is to know about advertising in just one night. Oh, no. Cody, you gotta do this for me. You just get things started. I'll be back before you know it. Joel won't know the difference. All right, guys, I'm gonna start my countdown from 10. When I hit zero, I want you to all remove your robes. Here we go. Oops, 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, oh, three, two, one. Oh. In minutes, starting now.